We've found the easiest way to disassemble or assemble a BSC fabricator's modern truck is to create a fixture that holds the truck while you're taking the springs in and out. This is a piece of steel, but you can do the same thing with a piece of plywood. Take a 3 8 inch diameter bolt, put up through the plywood about five and a half, six inches, and then down from the top, run a nut down to about the three and a quarter inch level and put a washer on the top of it. That way you can set the truck on the bolt and the washer will allow the truck to spin from side to side while you're installing the springs. What you want the bolt to do is to hold the bolster up, which will keep the whole unit together while you're inserting the springs. You need two tools for the disassembly or assembly of a BSC truck. You need a screwdriver with a flat tip about a quarter of an inch. That's so that you can adjust the spring retainer plate, keep it in the center of the slot. It's real important that you have a very good pair of fine point needle nose pliers. Now these came from uh, the local Ace Hardware. These are Diamond Brand Excel Light, spelled X C E L I T E, model number L N 54 V. Your regular run of the mill needle nose pliers will not have fine enough points to get a hold of the springs. The points have to be fine enough that you can get in between the loops to grab a hold of a loop. This video is to show you how to disassemble a BSC fabricator's modern truck. It's easier to disassemble them upside down. So put the truck on your fixture. Take your small needle nose pliers and start with the springs on the opposite side. Grab it about three coils up from the bottom. Lift pull towards you. Take the outside ones out first, lift and pull towards you, and then the center one. Lift and pull towards you. Rotate the truck around to the other side. Take the outside ones out first again. Lift and pull towards you. Lift and pull towards you. And then take the center one out last. Now we'll come back to the front side of the truck. Once again, second or third coil up from the bottom. Lift, pull towards you. Squeeze really tight on the pliers so that the spring doesn't come loose and fly out. Always wear goggles when you're doing this. Take the center one out last. And rotate the truck around on the fixture again. Take the outside ones out again. Lift and pull towards you. Lift and pull towards you. Okay, this is the last of the 12 outside springs. Now the remaining two springs are the snubber springs. They're actually easier to remove by turning the truck back over with the right side up. Okay, get the, to get the snubber spring out, grab a hold of the spring retainer plate with your thumbs and slide it out to you slightly to where you can get a hold of it with the needle nose pliers and reach in and hold on to the spring while you pull the plate out. Rotate the truck around. Pull the plate out a little bit, get a hold of it with the pliers. Once again, hold on to the spring. That's pretty much it. The truck was completely disassembled now. This video is to show you how to reassemble a BSC fabricator's modern truck. Put the bolster on the fixture right side up. Take one of the side frames, make sure the two large holes are facing the center of the truck. Index it. Then take one of the axles, insert the bearing into one of the bearing pockets. Same with the second axle. Take the remaining side frame, start one of the axles in, while working the side frame over the bolster and then insert the second axle in the side frame and then index the sides and that's done. The major components are now installed. Now we're going to start on the spring packs. Notice that the spring retainer plate has a slight arch in it. The arch goes up. Also notice that there's a nub on the top in the center. That nub goes up inside of the snubber spring. There are two small springs with this set. One goes on each side of the truck and goes on this 
spring retainer plate up inside of the pocket. So take the pliers, lock onto the snubber spring pretty tight. Take the retainer plate, notice there's three holes in the back and three in the front. This is the way it goes in. Insert the spring at a slight angle while you push the retainer plate in. The nub on top of the retainer plate catches in the center of the spring and pushes the spring in from the bottom. Then you reach in with your fingers and make sure that this spring is centered between the six nubs on the bolster. The six nubs have to remain clear for the remaining outside springs. Okay, now we'll put the second retainer plate in. Once again, notice that the retainer plate has an arch in it and the nub on the top. Three holes go in the back, three in the front. We'll lock onto the spring again. You have to lock onto these pretty tight. You'll have more trouble with these two springs than the other 12. Now if you lose that spring trying to put it in a few times, don't feel bad. It takes a long time to get used to putting those in. Okay, the hard part's actually done. Once those two springs are in, the retainer plate's in, the rest of them are fairly easy. Except you put those in with the truck upside down. So take one of the larger springs, lock onto it about a quarter of an inch down from the top, insert the bottom of the spring first on one of the nubs that you can see on the bolster. Then take your thumb and help push the spring down and slide it under the spring retainer plate. And you'll hear it click in. When the spring goes in the hole where it's supposed to be, you hear a slight click. Put the center one in first. Then the outside ones, put the bottom in first, and then with both hands, push down on the spring to keep it under control. You have to use both hands. If you just try and use the pliers, the spring will come out almost every time. Put the bottom in first, push down. Make sure you push down far enough that you can get under the spring retainer plate. If you don't push down far enough, you'll end up getting caught on the spring retainer plate and you won't know why it's going in so hard. Okay, we're going to rotate it around and go ahead and finish this side. Once again, put the center one in first, put the bottom in first with both hands, push the spring down, slide it in, and you'll hear it click into the hole in the spring retainer plate. Grab onto the next spring, bottom first. Yeah, that's the last spring on this side. We'll go ahead and put the other three in on the inside, on the back. Once again, the bottom goes in first. Use both hands to push the spring down. Bottom first. Okay, now we're down to the last three springs. Always clamp them about a quarter of an inch down from the top. Always put the center one in first. Make sure you get it pushed down low enough to get it under the spring retainer plate. Okay, that one's locked in. Two springs to go. Bottom in first. Push down with both hands, thumb and the, and the plier hand. Last spring. Okay, now they're all in. Now we're going to check them to make sure they're all locked in. So you take your screwdriver, flip the truck back over the way it's supposed to be, because now you can see the retainer plate right here. And make sure the retainer plate is centered in the pocket by taking your screwdriver and adjusting it. And then check each spring to see if they're locked in. And this one's not locked in. There, did you hear it snap in? Okay, that one's locked in now. And look across the back. Check those three, they're all in. We'll take a look at this side. Okay, those three, those are all in. Everything's straight, perpendicular. Look at the back. Okay, those three are all in. Okay, that was a complete reassembly of a BSC fabricator truck.